so hello guys my name is Rado I'm 21 years old student in Slovakia and what I would like to talk about today is uh, Polish now you probably don't have a clue what Polish is but well, Polish is an enhanced version of nonviolent communication and in case you don't know what nonviolent communication is that is a way of speaking of which is to clearly define your and clearly express your emotions and needs uh, which underlie the emotions you feel and the feelings and uh, instead of just like uh, indirectly expressing them well instead of saying like move your ass mother I'm we're gonna miss the train you would say like I feel really afraid we're gonna miss the train and maybe I feel impatient and I feel stressed well what's the point of all this um I would say the main point is that in the first case if you t tell like your friend that to move his ass and stuff like this which is probably what most people do yeah, I think this is basically the common thing the question is how will this make him feel right I think in the first case he might feel a bit angry this which which I'll discuss later and maybe disrespected pressured and I suppose in the second case he might feel more understanding because you clearly stated what you feel and probably what your needs are yeah so if you feel impatient if you feel stressed or if you feel afraid you'll miss, miss the bus or train or whatever uh, your friend might understand it and you know he might move his ass in the end yeah without you like telling him this explicitly so yeah and Polish is, is a is kind of enhanced version of all this and uh, it was it's being developed by Steve Paul Hein which is my friend and basically here you can see where the name comf comes from from the middle name of Steve so that's why it's Polish and yeah I would like to maybe tell you something about the differences between nonviolent communication which is which was developed and by Marshall Rosenberg and whose materials and like the knowledge he shares I find it really I feel really interested in it and I find it really helpful for for me to kind of understand my life and the feelings better and the way kind of the society has been brought up throughout the throughout the time so <clears throat> well the difference is between Marshall Rosenberg's NEC and uh, Steve's uh, Polish is there are a few of them first uh, Polish is like an open source idea right so there's there's not non like organization standing behind it or charging some fees for using it and training people stuff like that uh, another thing for example uh, the the range of feeling where it's uh, used by or used in nonviolent communication seems to be quite smaller than compared to uh, Polish well in Polish there are so many words you can use basically Steve doesn't he doesn't forbid any like words really I think if they express the emotion correctly right but in I think in Marshall Rosenberg's work there's a limited range of, of words which I think can be limiting well I think 
emotions have really like different different kind of shades and oh uh, quote unquote colors and there's wide range of emotions you can feel and I'm afraid if you if you restrict the 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 vocabulary for for all this you're gonna limit the ability to express yourself so yeah that's that's another thing another thing would be uh the idea of uh anger as a, as an emotion well uh or steven polish he talks about anger as being secondary emotion what what that means is when you feel anger you well it suggests that you should be trying to find underlying unmet emotional needs behind your anger right so let's say let's say i'm sitting in a class and somebody like throws like pen or something at me some piece of uh schoolmate or something and it might happen a couple of times maybe before i get angry now when i get angry well i don't think anger really tells you much you say i'm just angry like what i'm gonna do now right if you feel hungry you're gonna eat right or if you feel thirsty or whatever yeah you're gonna drink or if you need sleep you're gonna sleep but but if when you're angry like i don't think it really expresses like what do you really need so in polish you're trying to find or in steve's ideas you're trying to find the underlying emotion which might be you might feel uh disrespected or ashamed or humiliated or something like that when you feel humiliated well let's see <laughs> well <clears throat> your need for respect and think so I, I'm well I got a little bit stuck now anyhow okay well so there's there's a couple of things I forgot I believe well one of them was uh, mm, it's a bit more on anger well Steve's idea is to talk about anger as uh, well it's not trying to not say you're angry but that you're feeling energized well it's kind of different i guess it's different kind of perspective on anger well so next time you're feeling angry and you kind of you know you've identified the underlying um primary emotion uh, well i i guess you can use this energy <laughs> to do something productive you know so well when i feel pissed off I tend to do a couple of pull-ups and stuff like that. Well, I feel quite a lot of energy to do that. But I think there's there's a more more resourceful way to <laughs> to use this energy. But this is as far as I have come to now. Okay, okay. I really like the way that uh, that Steve based Polish or is based trying to base Polish. Uh, on like scientific principle instead of like spiritual and this kind of stuff because well I feel a bit skeptical about spiritual this kind of spiritual things you know because well I'm a bit against relig religion I, I'm sorry well I apologize to everyone like who's religious and stuff it's just my kind of view and I find it more objective to just try things and see like you know you sort of make an experiment and you ooh, and you see what what happens you know really instead of like saying like the gods are angry and that's why it's thunder you realize that it's for different reasons right so I think this might be well okay I don't want to ramble more much about this because I'm afraid I, I might be not really correct so 
but yeah so it's more scientific approach whereas it's like spiritual and, and we see now <clears throat> what I like what I really appreciate and like about um, Steve's idea he says that for example when you feel hungry or thirsty as I mentioned you try to feel that need and if you feel you continue to feel hungry until you fulfill your need for for food right for nutrition so or 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 you die probably yeah if you're don't find a way to like get your nutrition just from air or something like that All right so he then he then compares it to the approach that people take with regards to emotions right so well <laughs> If you feel, for example, lonely, well, it seems that you have a need for a connection or or maybe like a touch or something, right? Or attention, maybe. Yeah, and well, you're not gonna solve it probably. Well, if you thought this way with regards to hunger, like if you say like if you feel lonely and you st start like suppressing your emotions and and or you use try to like think positive and all this kind of stuff which i feel like really discouraged about because it's something i used to do a lot and it just didn't work basically and now i'm trying well i'm i think now i'm getting to understand why so you're hungry and you try to say like stay positive and stuff like that and don't don't think negatively and if you would be supposed if you wouldn't eat when you're hang hungry like if you suppressed if you would be able to suppress the feeling of hunger somehow you'd die well when you're lonely or you're feeling alone uh, and you suppress this emotion I'm afraid it's not like you're gonna die probably but you probably die on like emotional level maybe you get depression well or n anxiety i don't know really like well i i think depression would be like more likely to occur i think it's 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 better way of looking at it than actually if you ever have if you've ever had a chance to experience like actually getting your emotional needs met instead of like trying to pray your emotions away or or suppressing them or 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 dragging yourself and stuff like that numbing yourself somehow trying to like overwork yourself somehow just to distract yourself in a way by watching tv or stuff but if you actually had your feelings like if you had someone for example to listen to you or support you or validate validate your feelings which i'm afraid is not something that's very likely in most families i hope not but i'm afraid it's it's just the way it is or is the it's like that basically well i know in my family there's like nobody has a clue what validation is and I'm afraid there's like a lot of old school bullshit beliefs about parenting and all kinds of stuff so I don't think you're gonna get I don't think I've ever felt like understood or listened to in my family that there's like most of the time there's like of advising and commanding and a lot of bullshit but no one really like gives a f to like listen to you really I went to a lesson uh, with the teacher from one English teacher right and after the class I tried to show <laughs> I tried to show him a page on Polish and uh, compared to NVC and and the whole idea I tried to introduce him the whole concept of uh, Polish well <laughs> <laughs> he just didn't get it at all and actually Steve uses like a like practical example telling a situation where in first case the 
uh, people express their feelings indirectly and the second instance they they use like emotionally literate way of expressing their their emotions clearly and directly right so in first situation they say like hurry up we're going to be late mm, don't worry we're not going to be late calm down just be patient for a while and stuff like that you know so you see with this situation would result in in like a lot of negative feelings of feeling invalidated or disrespected maybe not listened to not cared about stuff like that in situation where you would use polish or you would say oh i'm feeling impatient the, the other person might say oh I'll, i i feel maybe a bit afraid of missing well the train or whatever and even using numbers to describe the intensity of your feelings now when i showed this to the, to the teacher he was like it sounds unnatural and artificial to him well it might sound artificial and unnatural i don't really like it. i don't feel surprised that he 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 saw it like that but the results of the way we're com we've been communicating and are communicating are really up and i think you can see it on the on the growth or on the on the scale of self help books and all this kind of stuff i think there's i think depression and anxieties are quite spread in our modern western sort of society i think it would be better if non nvc or polish would become more natural to people emotional needs would be fulfilled and understanding would be better of each other so i think that that could be quite quite healthy for for the for the people and society